confidence in the legs. Yeah, it is. Uh, I want to be a winner as well. I want to bring a winning mentality to the football club, and it was important that we win and you get off to a good start. And but yeah, the most important thing of today is getting legs into the minutes. Which uh, sorry, minutes into the legs, which we did. We did. We we uh, were pleased with the with the the type of work we got in. Two good finishes from the two experienced forwards. Yeah, that's what they do. You put the ball in areas for, for Andy Williams and Adam Rooney to score. They've done it for the last 15, 20 years. So, uh, yeah, really, really good finishes. Uh, had some good stuff in the game, some stuff that we know what we've got to get better at. But uh, credit to Westfield. I thought it was a good good game. I thought they, they I know the, the manager really well. He's, he's, he's a top, top coach and, and I think he'll do really well here. And, and they were tough to break down at times. They were, they were well drilled and, and I thought they, uh, they thought they posed as a decent threat. A slightly different system today, um, we went with three at the back, um, how do you see that panning out throughout the season? Yeah, just personnel and, and we're looking at different things, we, we, to be brutally honest it's it's difficult to to recruit the players that we want to recruit in terms of the, the finances and stuff like that, so we're, we're trying to trying to work as best as we can, uh, if that's a three then it might have to be a three for, for the majority of the season, if not and we can get wingers in and, and whatever then then we might look at something else, but at the moment we're, we're working off that. And it was a good chance to see some of the new sign-ins um, in play today. Yeah, uh, I think Tate Campbell's going to be a get, be a top player for us, uh, thought Chase really really sharp, cause shows us that power and, and running speed, uh, obviously Montel had a bit of a so uh, Achilles, so he missed today. Who else did we have? Sorry, it slipped my mind. I've got can't remember who else. But anyway, they've done well. Uh, so yeah, please just to get minutes in everyone, and obviously the lads that are still here from last season, just to to continue those standards. Someone else we didn't see today was Aaron Skinner. Uh, can you give us a update on that one? So Skins pulled his hamstring, as we know, against uh, Scunny, the back end of last season. So the season was over the last couple of games, and then. He since went back and got another scan, and there's there's a there's a bit of damage there. We we'll probably miss him for for the start of the season. So it's a weird one because Skins is he's he's running. He's uh, he's obviously it's a hamstring injury. He's not at full pelt, so he has taken part in stuff with James and and the the physio and the and the, the stuff like that. But we'll probably he could be fit for the start of the season. However, he won't have many minutes in him, so he's probably going to miss the first few games. Another player we know from last season, um, Jordan Lydon, he went off injured during that game. Yeah, George pulled his hammy, I think. Uh, I believe that's what he thinks he's done. So, yeah, George went off with a, with a pulled hamstring. Uh, he's one that obviously we invited back for pre-season because we think he's got good quality. But to be honest, it's too early. I don't know how bad it is, but he obviously let off a bit of a, bit of a scream. So it's obviously really painful for him. Uh, looking ahead to next Saturday, West Brom under 21s will be a good challenge against the academy side. It will be. Uh, academy sides are always good in possession. They they try and dictate the dictate the ball. Whether uh, that's that's how academies are now, whether whether you agree with that or not. But they're always good technical players, so it'll be a good challenge for us, like it was last year. And one of my really close close friends is Richard Beale, that coaches him, a top top coach. Uh, so they'll be well drilled. They'll. They'll be good in possession, they'll be good out of possession, so it's a tough game for us. But we're, uh, we're still trying to find our feet, we, we still still body shot, uh, but we're doing all we can. Well, congratulations on your win and thanks for your time. Thank you. And just ask you about the two youngsters that you had in last season. You had the one in goal today, I think. Uh, what about Walby? Arwen's injured. Arwen's uh, went away on the, the Bayern Munich camp thing and, and got in, he's came back with an injury. He's, he's actually here waiting, I'm going to speak to him in a minute. Uh, so yeah, he's injured. Two young lads came on, I thought they were excellent. I thought they were excellent, didn't really look out of place. Uh, but at the same time, it's the levels are a little bit different to, to probably what they're used to. Uh, last year, I think, I think they, they lost to Westfields, but... Nashi and Zeke do a brilliant job of the young players and trying to bridge that gap is really difficult because we aren't a full-time club and it's difficult to try and, try and see them as often as we want, but uh, I thought they have done well. And do you think we're cursed with 4G pitches starting this season, pre-season friendly, injury last season to Andy Williams and obviously something not very nice today for Lady? Uh, no, I don't think so. Willow, Willow last year was got injured against West Brom, didn't he? It was on, on grass, so... Uh, no, I don't think so. A hamstring injury is nothing to do. I'm not a personal fan, that's me being, being honest. I, I think football, I'm a bit old school, football should be played on grass. That's my opinion on it. However, I understand that clubs need to try and make revenue, but I'm not a great fan of them. 
but we've got to try and deal with it because there's, I don't know off the top of my head, five, six pitches in this division, so we're going to have to try and deal with it because it's a lot of points at stake, but uh, we train on them, we train on them because it's difficult to get a grass pitch that's good enough to, to maintain it, you can't get a grass pitch in the winter with, with, with floodlights, so uh, yeah, I'm not a massive fan, but however, that's life, we've got to get on with it. And I assume you'll have a few more trialists in for next Saturday? Uh, we will look, we will look, it's, it's difficult. Trialists nowadays, and I'm not being, they've got every right to trialists, want to know what they can pay, get paid before they come in, and, and sadly we, I'm not in a position to start offering trialists deals that could possibly come available because we are, we're not in that position as we as we are at the moment. We we want to try and get players in that are ours first and foremost. Uh, we will have a look. The it's a tough market, it really is, but we'll uh, we'll continue to look. And where are we up to numbers now then? We've got 15. We've got 15 signed. I still think personally we're four short, but whether we can get four in, we might only be able to get two in with what we've got available at the moment. So uh, maybe one at, at, at that. So. Again, listen, we are trying night and day. We are trying to wheel and deal, so to speak. Uh, I'm Scottish, so we are, we are pretty tight. But we're trying, we are trying, we're trying to get... We, we need more defensive players. I think top end of the pitch, I think we're we're, uh, we're very pleased. We've got Montel and, and Kills and Willow and, and obviously Runes. Uh, we've got wingers that are nice and athletic and get at people that are positive. We've got Babs that can play in the, in the 10, who's really good. We've got central midfield we've got great options so centre half we need to, uh, we need to we need to try and try and get some reinforcements in there thank you all right yep. cheers thank guys. you